Let's see. <clears throat> I added back a 27 slams. I added a force field of rune in a bird swamp. I cut the cut down because who needs removal spells? Also cut the siphon inside for the deuce. This thing about cutting chase, or at least one chase, or maybe just another robbery. That card's been pretty impressive in the slow matchups. And I think Siphon Insight's also quite good, but I don't want to overdo it with the Deuce main. I want to keep some actual threats like the Sea Sharks, one chase. The rest for negates is good, I think. I'm not sure what my anti aggro card should be. Yeah, I just want to do something insight. Seven insight's kind of been good against flag green. It's good against the rest Lidiana. People play these decks. Anyways, let's start with stats. Conan goes first. I can't kill a creature. Does GG and they go turn one Sakenzan. No one plays these cards. No one, no one's gonna try and be done, right? I had Nyoki for dinner last night, store bug very mid. Yeah, my experience with Nyoki is there's what are they playing? Restless Reef. Hmm. No, I think it's Hellfire. All right, Shredder. All right, let's them hit me once. I haven't seen Shredder in standard. Greetings, Macy. Hi, uh, Citrino. I don't know, stuck on my amps. Well, that's going to be rough for them. Hey, my likes. I think I just like Riddling here. Does that make sense? Just find more Deluge, maybe. I think Long Goodbye or Field of Rain. Oh, I have Tap in hand already. All right, I draw land anyways. Oh, seldom has the longest streak. Not who is it? Marenzio? Marenzio, what are you? 71, 72? Yeah. I know you're not here for me, seldom. I'm I'm well aware. Anything but. 71. Okay, we need to try and sabotage seldom streak somehow. We'll figure a way. Gucci might as well give up, honestly, buddy. Seldom, what's your sleep schedule like? Just, you know, no, uh, no reason really. Just curious. Excuse me? I mean, actually, I can't even, like... Yeah, please mail me, right? Just a memory deluge. Rip all my win cons. Yeah, creative name. You're right there. You just need half my chat to, like, quit magic or... Something bad happened to them, and you'll be top top streaker anytime. 
Shuji was in first place? I don't know. No, Shuji was... For some reason, I remember Shuji breaking his streak on a Sunday. Like a regular Sunday stream. Wait, did he say he's putting the stuff in the elevator? Oh, I forgot to make a token. Okay, I'll be right back. What's going on? Damn, Crypto Goat's actually quite scary. Oh, I have my first entry. Might have probably had a bunch of removal for it. Yeah, I'll be okay. Damn, I mean, I don't mind too much, but. Later, guy, tell me monitors. <laughs> Just puts it in the elevator. The... Another. Okay. And there. And no, it's a shark. Um, yeah, I'll save that for a planeswalker. Yeah, I'll just deadly cover up. Kind of get a look what's in their deck. I'm going to take the cryptic code, I think. Better try and go for the throat. Cryptic code. Gix command. Gix. Creature, 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 creature. Removal, removal. Two spell peers. I mean, gotta expect like more. All right. Uber garbage time. Yeah. Run on smarts. On tap is on, right? On tap's working. Blue, black, all creatures. Ah, uh, they're gonna have their own counters. Cryptic code's all scary. I think Aklatos could be all right. I need to keep some negates for uh for cryptic coats. What's my worst card here? How are my own cryptic coats? How do they line up? A little mid. Care of the hello fresh stuff since it should go in the fridge. Uh, shipwreck march or coat edict half celestus. I could could just solo, it's good against kicks. Path is a lock or celestus a lock or maybe just celestus. Let's see when, like, how it delivers, it comes in a box. Get the ingredients. 
the pick up. I mean, I can't wait to the end of the match, but I'm gonna go put that stuff in the fridge. The quest is sleeve digger. T2 Curry doesn't like the doesn't like that I'm playing sleeveless. Justement, c'est pas des sleeves. Je joue sans sleeve. It's like, yeah, just no sleeves, really. It's fine, right? Magic cards are not worth anything. The, the bats. Maybe I should cut Edict against a Siren deck. The Dankus, what? What's that clip? Oh, use. I think that was actually the play. Ah, man, my feuds. Mm. I think I also played that pathway on, on blue for no reason. Used to putting pathways on blue, I guess. Some habits die hard. Nothing even happens. There's literally just bouncing ragu is enough. Greatest clip of this channel. Pourquoi yellow hat? Parce que à cause du chapeau jaune derrière moi, tout simplement. Well, they're not really pressuring me, so I'm just gonna try and hit my land drops. Not even gonna bother trying to kill the bat right now. C'est un chapeau jaune. Okay, je te fais l'histoire rapide. Quand j'étais jeune. Mon groupe, de, mon groupe de musique préféré, c'était le Saiyan Supaku. Un groupe de hip-hop, il s'habillait toujours en jaune. Du coup, moi aussi et mes potes, ils m'ont offert un, un, un bob jaune pour mon anniversaire. Et j'ai commencé à le porter quand je suis allé au Pro Tour. Et les gens, ils ont, les, les ricains, ils ont commencé à m'appeler Yel Hat. And the greatest clip is clearly just Liz making fun of me. Maybe all the clips involving Liz are kind of goaded. Can I just take two lands here and not be too greedy? They're not doing anything. If I make my land drops, I'll probably just win. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think I should try Avon Heart Stabber and Etrata. Avon Heart Stabber just unplayable. And Etrata is a good card, but it doesn't really fit. Okay, that is a little scary. Either they did have negate or they didn't want to fight over that, which I think they should probably fight over there. It was given my hand, it would have been good for them to negate there. So nothing was the auto tapper, but you should screw it out. You should always just tap your restless reef. All right, I'm gonna deluge again first and see what happens. Okay, long goodbye is nice insurance. Nothing negate is gonna be good.
I just got a couple lands out of the way. Let's do this so I don't have to tap out like crazy. Not a reef. Let's try and get rid of the bats. Oh wow, and I get to see their hands. Ooh, Tidebinder. Uh, I need a, a counter for Tidebinder. Maybe I need to place some like Essence Scatter after Sideboard. So that's their Sideboard plan. Aklatos, two Cryptic Coats, two Tidebinder, two D-Stroke, two Spell Piers, three Duress. Not a ton of counters. Eight. Time binder might be a problem. Yeah, results. It's gonna get negated, I think. Could get negated, didn't, that's good for me. A riddle or another deluge? Or white mana? I think I need riddle. Have edict the death siren like dealt like seven damage, eight damage. Another Shelly? Oh, good thing I kept that riddle. That's a good draw. Have you ever given that your last win con was a pact of negation? It was a pact of negation? Then I had to pretend you still had win cons and bluff your opponent into concession? No, I don't think I've ever won a game like that. Not sure though. Yeah, at least you have no counterplay to like Time Bite on Shield of Rune. That's unfortunate. I I guess you got me. I play the land to have mana for field of rune plus edict. Ooh, wanna make me? Wanna mail a memory deluge for me? Please? Okay. I was hoping they would like tilt you's tide binder there. Just need to dodge the gate.
I'll let them mail me. Silver, um, looking pretty good. We could get extremely lucky. Control like negate for cryptic code, and yeah, it's pretty over. Dragon does double block the reef. Is Trollin now? Oh, they were tapped down? Yeah, you're probably right. No delay, never lucky. There's a lot of bad card though. I could just make them use their Tide Binder, honestly. It's not the end of the world at this point, I have enough mana. Then I can cover up, get rid of their scariest card, which is... I'm not sure, honestly. What's their scariest cards? Just negate. Shelly? How many Shellys do they have? Probably negate out of these cards. Wait, they only... Play by me. Nice. How's the food, the lasagna? It was good. I like the sauce. I didn't love the bechamel. I mean, it was good. It was very good, but Liz liked it a little less than um, our other recipe that does basically cheese instead of bechamel. There's a discount because I hadn't ordered for a while, so they offer you discounts and um. I think it's worth it if you get their meals at a discount. Negate. I mean, it's good against almost anyone. Kind of weird to keep a negate in the dark here, but half path in hand, I guess, for creatures. Yeah, a little punished, I guess. Are your potions enough? Yeah. The sizings are pretty good, honestly. They're they're pretty generous portion. Like not like US what you would get at a diner in the US where they give you like, you know, free X amount of calories you need, but I'm usually like usually like for instance the other day I made the risotto and there was leftover, you know, and they said it said serving for two, but there was like almost free servings, so. And we're not like small eaters. Uh, do I need to kill that right away? Kind of a lot of damage, right? Now, I was saying the other day, honestly, if, if you can order HelloFresh at a discount, it's just totally worth it, honestly. Full price, you know, if you have the, the money and you don't have time to grocery shop, but you still want to make some home cooked meals and maybe you'll know which recipe to pick. Go for it, but I can always say I'm sponsored right now, but if, if, I, if I lived in the US and I had never ordered from HelloFresh and it's something I wanted to try, I would would totally like advise using my offer, getting massive discount and going from there, see how you like it. 
The one of your subs you just played was me. That was an honor for me. Thank you very much. Sorry that was in a... <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to get to Diamond. I'll take the win. Good games, though. That's cool. Let's see? See how fast you scooped in game one? You're so smart. This yellow hat, uh... Yellow hat viewer. I guess I'll use the end. You literally scoop almost as I said it was like garbage time. Uh, picked wrong. A lot of hands, all value, just almost all cards I need to. That card's really cool. So it's, it's pretty scary too. Whenever a creature control deals come in, now it's your player. If that creature enters the left, we just try and draw a card like. Yeah, that was definitely, yeah, you were, my dead parent was, you know, you were super dead. Yeah, I just have to cover up and hope. Hope for the best. What do I take? What's scary? Picnic Karina or Ukumano faces Kakazan? Oh, I almost missed that. Totally forgot that card had an ability. So they're gonna go end up turn that. You think Runa is scarier? Kumana is like chip damage. Like Runa just dies to one. Really, I was thinking Kumana just because it's cheaper and less susceptible to removal. All right, chat, sorry. I usually, when, oh, when chat says agrees on something, I'll, I'll go with chat against my own opinion, but... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overestimating, like... Yeah, that, that's, that was my reasoning. Just take the cheap cards. What does that do? Just a fight card? Looks like a fight card. Fight card on Planeswalker, too. Runer does gonna kill me next turn. Does seem like I need a removal spell for that Runer ASAP. But I do for questing druids as well. Meter worried about another sweeper. They're just gonna say go. Raskumana, they could just deploy and not be worried about a sweeper. I do have my sweeper mana available. Even have the white source for path. Uh oh. Visions, menace, plus two, plus two. Okay. Not indestructible. Uh oh. Maybe taking Celeste, it's a little greedy here. Should I go down to one? Meh. And there are one mana short of being able to protect your Miglos. I thought that we could cover up just feed each other. Alright, I think I'm going to take Questing Druid. 
because it's a creature and card advantage. Or Plaza of Hero. Once a red green creature land, do you not play it? Plus a Kenzan. I don't even know what it does. Okay. Yeah, taking Celestis over, over the impulse slash counter was so greedy. Let's see if it works out for me. Do I have Restless Rage, my favorite blocker? I don't. Morning, Ted. Wait, that's early even for you. Oh no, daylight saving rights. 5.30. Nope, right on time. Cryptic code's good, right? Cryptic code can take over. And I think I can afford to cast Celestis. Dirty dang it, you missed it. Missed the Ragu stream yesterday. Uh oh. Yeah. Not the mana for it. Okay. One life. Killing. How do I not die to a haste creature, though? Let's use the Lexus, right? And then I can chump. I guess not die to a pump spell. I think they have more haste creatures than pump spells. Okay, that does nothing. Yeah, next time I make something like a super or regular, I'll try to like it is fun to have like the cam. Okay, so night, so I need two spells. I guess I could turn it to day and not play a spell. Yeah, that was better. I'm just spewing. Just trying to lose. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I could just set the creatures in play with cryptic code. Silly. I think just passing the turn had the highest chance of not dying, get the life from Celestis, and then. Did I, did I totally butcher that? Why did I think I needed to, like, flip the Celestis? It was going to flip automatically? Yeah, maybe I got just super confused. All right, now I get to trigger Celestis. I have a negate for a pump spell. Yeah, I played a spell, right? I played Cryptic Code, so it's not gonna, so it's not gonna flip. You wanted me to not play Cryptic Code and die to 
die to a haste creature? Mm. Robbery can go. Riddles maybe a little slow. Celestis on the draws maybe a little slow. And then just a couple did use maybe. Maybe I have too many creatures for the sharks to be good. All right. Well, I don't know. I I'm not sure what I did. What happened? What I did. So I'm not sure if I played it right or not. The ring card like forge. I think forge not that scary when I bring in my own creatures and I already have cryptic codes. Low hand, I have a blocker. I don't have land, I don't have a non tap land on two, I don't have a cheap removal, I don't have a path. I think this is a mulligan. This is better. I think maybe make disappear is worse than belly cover up. I think bottoming make disappear is fine. Maybe even bottoming deduce is fine. Oh, wow. Unclear what I'm supposed to do. I mean, that's why you bring them in four, right? Repping a rage. Or a bluff bell. Yeah, I guess Miguel is going to solo me now. I kind of want to play Aklatoz next turn if I can. Sorry, Aklazots. I want to stay the turn up to path. Let's pop Caesar. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the quality of the red-green cards, it all looks like really good, honestly. All right, let's see. Plus two, minimum, minimum. So that it can destroy that. What's better, my creature, or... Do just have another Miglos, maybe? Creature kind of going to take over now. Creature do creature things. Rating seems good. What are the others indestructible? They might have the removal spell too. One one vamp. I guess I'll take it. If they're offering the trades. They could be being reckless, but I'll give them credit.
Varsan? I don't know. Uh, my read was a second Miglos. Or just that they're scared of Freecher. Yeah, I kind of agree with Jayco. I think it's just a testament of how good the blue, black, the S4 cards are that red, green doesn't see more play or maybe doesn't do well. I mean, cut down is a part of it, though. It goes together, probably. All right, big baddie, big bad god, the big bad wolf. Tiny Bones, you're so high on that card. We were actually talking about that card in our Discord the other day. I just said the same thing I said when you mentioned it, just not that great, but also like one hit. One hit can win you the game in the mid game, so. Like just casting one one spell out of your opponent's graveyard can be good enough to swing a game, so but one one for one is it's like I mean I know some of my teammates played like a big big version of Ragdos with Breach as top of the curve. I mean, it's not because the card wins it is in a PT winning list that it's busted. Star one was for each. Yeah. Swamp on the PT. Thought Swamp on Worlds. Basic Swamp on Worlds. Do you think tap ping land will see play in aggro decks and standards? Did they spoil something new? I don't know what you're talking about. I think that if Spyglass is one of the better one drops in standard, Tiny Bones is probably good enough. I don't know. Evasion is good with Gix. Good with Rafine, good with Gix. Can literally draw you a card. But yeah, I mean, it is a legend too, which is nice. Also, one drops in a format where you play like these lands, you know, you've got the creature lands and stuff. Memory deluge. It's always a memory deluge. Not a deadly cover up. I mean, can I really go wrong? Can I go wrong with a deadly cover up?
coat looks cryptic, but it's actually two homunculus in a trench coat. Wait, did Takenuma and Bricks? <laughs> Not a removal spell. I'm good. Land drops are nice when you're in like infinite memory deluge modes. Tiny bone not busted, but decent one drop. Yep. Nodding a might see play. Alright, against Esper. Their non-creatures are pretty scary, but their creatures are scary too. Maybe Robert is all greedy. Maybe even the end is all greedy. It's not very efficient in the early game. Only good against the Wandering Emperor or later. Need enough removal so I don't die to like bats into free drop draw. Shark's pretty good. Could do like. I think Cryptic Coat's usually not that good. A Shark becomes better after Sideboard. Or maybe after Sideboard, just... I like Cryptic as a main deck. Do I want my own creatures? Not really. Your Roberto Flamingo Domingo. I'll just have it all every hand. Just gotta keep. Please have an answer for Kaido or wedding announcements. I could have bat into gigs or bat into Rafine. And lose. Nexus, it has Nexus in the in the name. What happened? Six mana mythic. At the beginning of combat on your turn, draw cards. Okay. Then you may exile an artifact or creature card from your hands. So in a track saw, I'm assuming. If you do create a token that's a copy of the exiled card, except it yep, a track saw, yep. It's six mana late game engine, no matter what, and then if you have an attract sign hand. It's gas. Could be. Could be good in ramp. I'll start using Field of Rune. Oh, is that not standard legal? Is that the Planeswalker set or whatever, the Commander set? Oh, wow. 
actually gave them extra mana for something. That was really bad. Yeah, that's a reason not to do that. They could have on like a fairy too. Just hope they target something that's not routine, maybe. But it's be a bit of damage and obviously it doesn't let them filter to a counter. Damn. The damn anchorage again. So I don't have white. Fortunate. I might have messed up. Maybe I'm supposed to like field over in on my turn and play both removal. Hope they break. And then I get to deluge. Wait, what? I drew all my basic? I'm the one strip mining myself? Right. I think they draw all my basics. I have six. They have two. What a sick joke. Oh, wow. Actually, that's kind of good for me. They got greedy. Sure. Take it. Dude, I'm literally gonna lose because I freaking like unbelievable. <laughs> I could have cast Shark first if. Oh, and they drew in the gate. Well, good thing I didn't. Uh... I didn't have a land. I would have like ran into the negate and just lost. Saved. Saved by my bad luck, kind of. Oh, I should have played sewer first. I'm just. Uh... Uh, I'm going to do the deuce first. Try and get a lucky jar removal spell. No. Chum blocker?
Et Titi Kaka. Bonne heure. Bonne fin d'après-midi. Bon courage. Bon courage pour le taf. Nope. Peril. Nope. All right, I got out tempo. Never recovered really. That first field of rune play might have cost me the game. A shark not being just another path was bad. I can't tell if shark is good or not in this matchup. We'll probably find out though. Shark is bad, dice removal and gets out traded with Esper Flyers. It deals well with one or two creature. Not great when they go wide. Shark is bad dies to removal and gets out traded with Esper Flyers. Ina Zen, thanks for the four months. It's like it's like cheap. It's like fairly cheap. It doesn't suck when you have to like it makes them overextend and then you cover up and you get something out of it. Like, none of the other creatures seem that great to me. I could just have the robberies. I don't think Celeste is that great against them. Could just do like this. Preacher. Now I don't really want to tap out for Preacher if they can tap out for better. Also, late in the game, the Flyers kill you a lot of the time. Could Celestis be played in Pioneer? Maybe? Does it line up well? Do people have random abrades come out? I mean, people used to play Prismari Command main deck and even sometimes call against Command main deck. So, not too sure. But if people don't have random hate for it, yes, yeah, so let's just... Find magic cards. I have made this appear if they say go with mana up. You can maybe long goodbye the mastermind. Maybe I don't care, maybe I'm okay going a little low. Oh, let's see what they do. Wandering Emperor would be kind of rough. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to use it. I'm going to have to use it on my turn if they use Mastermind. Also kind of don't want to have to play spells on my turn. This way I can flip Celestis. Oh right, I was going to make them draw it and realize that. I threw was that thinking. Negate, make disappear.
<laughs> Good choice. Rewarded. It's nice that they fight, I get to trigger Celestis again. I thought I had Cryptic Code in hand for some reason. Why did I even cast Deluge there? That was atrocious. What well, just happened? Okay, interesting. Interesting play by me. I don't know why I cast Deluge there. That was all good. It's fine. Probably that Dura is going to be good, right? No more lies, go for the fruit and a deck. Evidence. Gee, what, what should I pick? That's a tough one. One island, one plains. No swamp? Danic for Vince Collect Evidence doesn't target. Danic says, I'm be a target or so. I'm not targeting the cards to collect evidence, just the cost. Okay, so I don't want to play spells. I have Encourage now. It does feel like the Celestis has just been great for me in this deck. Maybe I should stop cutting it for no reason. Does letting them cycle their go for the throat? Good reason enough to kill that creature when I can just sweep the board next turn. I 
was playing two Celestis in the no win con blue black version, and it was so amazing. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're playing like the just cover ups and stuff and really shop things. Yeah, your games go even longer. I found Denik to be a trap, never quite good enough at anything that he wants something to do a little bit. Well, Denik does so much. I mean, I haven't played S4 in a while, but. Also, isn't there a bunch of aggro on like just two free light fling as per Rafine in these matchups? It's just like. I have, I have a hard time believing. Maybe though. I mean, why do you play instead like Lazav or something? Okay, so I want to do that now. And what about pay? Basic land check. They have one more plans. Just gonna save it for an anchorage. Jour, nuit, jour, nuit. Finally. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Do I care that much about night and day? I should just deluge main for like a land and a spell. Make some land drops. Alright, let's let them know. Or in the oops all deluge part of the stream or part of the game. How bad is a wedding announcement for me? This is so inefficient. Just for that, I'll play the extra land. QQ. Wee! Robbery, it's been good. I mean, format is pretty slow. A lot of people play like grindy decks. And it's like against blue white when they when if they try to tap out for uh if they try to tap out for memory deluge you tap out for you just tap out for robbery for five and it's unless you're too far behind on board because of my rex or wandering emperor it's just Almost insurmountable for them. <laughs> I don't know Citrino XDD or XDDing. Which one? I mean, not that I needed robbery at that point, but. I'm <laughs> sorry.